What's going on you lot? Welcome back to the Hashtag United channel and welcome back to another league game. Today we have another one for you and we're going up against Wivenhoe Town who are currently sitting full team from the league. They've actually lost their last 11 games which actually makes them on the worst form in the league right now. Hashtag United are sitting in first place which is exactly what we like to see. So, coming back to today, we've travelled to Colchester about 45 minutes from myself and the pitch is looking, I'll say, pretty decent considering it's been uh, snowing and raining quite a lot and um, one thing I have to say coming away to games like this I really enjoy seeing sort of like one stand because as you can see all the way around the pitch it's like standing 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 and then it has the one sole stand seating and here is our changing rooms wow that's tight we got Mikey setting the kits up and Right, show me your game face. <laughs> Someone has... Kano's taken my job. I can't believe it. Through the lens of Kano. 100%. What do you reckon you can do it? George, do you reckon he's got it? No, I don't think he's got it. To be fair, I'll play right back. Should we swap for today? We swap, that's it. Spenny. Hello. We've got you. A bit earlier than usual. Yep. Talk to me. Not in my commentary position yet. But I've already eyed it up. Lovely little kind of square sort of stand, stand over there, so we'll get involved. But we're just over halfway through the season. Did you ever think we'd be where we are right now? Hmm, after the first four games, probably not. Basically, after the first four games, right, here's what I did. I've got this little stat sheet at home, there's a document. You love a good start, don't you? Yeah, and we had two points in four games, I was like, season looking good. And, but I knew we were better than the results said. I didn't know how much better. And I made the, I got all the fixtures out, and I made a target, points target, for the rest of the season, where I thought we should be. Bear in mind, this is based off us getting two points in four games. And I, I can't remember the number it was, but I looked at all those, those other league tables where roughly that amount of points would get us. And I said, right, we need to finish at least third for me to be happy. That's what I said after four games. That's by all means, by no means finished. We've got loads more games to do. We can still finish third or lower than third. But I think now we're in a very different situation, which is that we would be disappointed if we didn't finish top. Because yeah. we put ourselves in a good position. So that run really that sorted us out. Dev said at the time, that run a game basically undid the bad start. They didn't allow us to then get placed. We've had a couple of losses in the last sort of 10 games. And now we've just, we've just got to win them all. We've just got to win them all, mate. And obviously, what Enzyme was a huge game, but there's a big game coming up very soon against yeah. Man Baker. Yeah. They're getting games called off every five minutes at the moment. They're supposed to play today, that's been called off. They're supposed to be playing Tuesday night, probably going to get called off. They can't call off next week because it's at our place and they're 3Gs. And you're the king of getting games on according to Sunday League, this right? That's what I do. I've never been at a game called off facts. <laughs> yep. I don't know if I can extend that power to the third and under league. The Sunday League, games happen. I say to the ref, mate, say if I've quit, think of the possibilities. Put my arm around him, the games happen. <laughs> Kane, what's your uh, signature stretch of the week, please? Stretch of the week? Yeah, come on. Because I know you do one all the time and you go down and you, and you put your, your knee over. I, I, don't want none, I don't want none of that no more. I want something new. Go on then, hit, hit me with something. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And you don't want to bounce on that, do you? No, I don't want to bounce on that really, so you just want to pull yourself in. Oh, yeah. Nice. Stretching 101 with Kano. Okay, guys, we have another Instagram live. Be sure to keep updated on our Instagram on match days. We like to get them done as much as we can and in the training as well. So make sure you follow hashtag United's Instagram account at hashtag UTD. I'm going to get a gun. I'm going to do a couple kick ups. You can do like Ozil. Ozil thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see this. He's trying to do the Ozil thing. I want to see this. Get ready? Yeah. Oh, no. What do you reckon? He, he had one chance. No, you, can do, you can do that. Touch my you can do that. Lip. Next week, yeah? Next week. Because Tash is not here, I'm going to have to do Tash's Oh, you, so you're filling into his place. Okay, let's go. Give let's him the go. ball. Right, I'm going to give you, give you a spot. Let's give it. Okay, I need to make sure it's from a good distance. So, on a weekly basis, Tash and Richmond, we did start it two weeks ago, but he's not here this week. So Aaron Couch is filling, filling in and taking over his spot. So we're going to give it all one take. Go for it, mate. Oh, it's a bit short. I think that was better. That was better. <sighs> it's that time of the week. <sighs> Hello? I'm not even going to ask for it anymore. I'm just going to point the camera. I said, I said the other week I'm just going to spread love and peace. Love and peace. 
What I've noticed recently, right? What I've noticed, a lot of people got this thing with their accent, right? And listen, embrace where you're from. Like some people, when, no, when the people are from places, they have a specific I accent. I can live with that. If you're from a specific place, then I can live with that. But 90% of the population aren't from Essex, are they? So why has everyone got to be Danny Dyer? I just don't get it. You, you, right, son, how are ya? That's how you sounds. And you're not even from Essex, are you? It ain't about me. That's this is how I speak, right? But you don't live in Essex and you put on an accent, so then you're being your culprit of your own doing, no? Oh, I'm not from Essex, but that's not the. Listen, I don't portray this. Spencer Essex even calls you. you was it mock me? Mock me yeah. yeah. We're not talking about Spencer. We're talking about other people. All right. Wind it in. None of this apples and pears. All right, boys, swagging in, Danny diet. None of that. Speak like where you're from. If you're a carrot cruncher, talk like you crunch carrots. If you're from Essex, speak like you're from Essex. Speak like Danny Dyer. All the rest of you, just wind it in. I have nothing to say. Okay. Don't Okay, we'll cut there. Okay, sounds super. How are you? You right? Yeah, I'm right. How does that come across? Do you think I, I, I think it actually come across really well. I think today. I'm amazed that people still buy into it. That I'm sort of some sort of Neanderthal over. It's silly, isn't it? It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. ridiculous. Honestly, it's ridiculous. By the way, we're doing tea tomorrow. The polo boys are around. We, Feel free to pop over. We, okay, I'll, I'll be there. Go and play some football now, some. Listen. Of course. Thanks. Always a pleasure. Here we have the army. The hashtag superfans. Alfie, talk to me. How are we doing? How are we doing? We're doing good. I'm asking you how you're doing. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I think, I think we're all good today. Cold one in Wivano, but you know what? I love an away day. I say this every time. And I'll tell you what, it's getting down to squeaky bum time. And this, <laughs> this is this is the time. If there's ever a time to come down to a hashtag game, we could win the league. I don't want to say it. I can't say it to devs, but amongst all us, feelings are high, right? So if you get the opportunity, come on down. Come say hi to us. Come join in. Got a great load of chance going, and we want you to come and join in with us as well. So yeah, I'll see you next Saturday. You, you, what? Oh. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Go and subscribe if you haven't already. Devs, couple of changes today, please. Yeah, can I? Yeah, should I trademark that? I think it's trademarked. Yeah. Devs's yeah. couple of changes. Yeah. Get me on. Yeah. <laughs> Get um, your own show. Get me on show. Um, yeah, uh, Harry Honesty is walked out today. He took a hef hefty whack last week, um, as I'm sure people have seen. Uh, he played on it, obviously he went on it last week, but we had to take him off in the end because of it. Um, and so it's, it's too soon today for him to be available. Um, and Simon Penny has got uh, some work commitments that have ruled him out for today as well. So. Um, Straight swap, Kane comes back in, says no problem there, there's no minimal disruption. Uh, and what we'll do is we're going to finish the midfield, we'll, we'll kind of um, start as, as we finished last week with um, Albie Keith shuffling to the left and Lee Hurst coming back in the middle with, uh, with Gleady and Ricky. So, you know, in my opinion, we're still strong. Day is 100% about our attitude. If it's right, then everything else will be right, and you win the game as I expect you to do. If it's not right, then we're going to make life hard for ourselves. <coughs> These are on a horrific run of results. If you look at their results, straight defeats. But if you look more closely at their results, you'll see that they're improving and the gaps in the defeats, they've played some of the top sides recently and they've only lost by the odd goal. Don't give them a sniff. Don't invite them in. Don't let up. We good to go? Yeah. Let's get moving, let's go, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Hashtag United game away. A very cold Saturday here. We're in Wivenhoe. Wivenhoe Town are our opposition today. We played them very nearly the start of the season. Uh, it was a one-all draw. It was one of our first four games. We only picked up two points in those four games. So we were disappointed with that draw. They're currently sitting 14th in the league. Scored 30, conceded 60. Okay, it's a negative 30 goal difference. We should be winning this game, plain and simple. We're here to win. We're here to keep the pressure on the teams around us. And I'm joined by the one, the only, Matthew Carter. 
Yeah, pleasure to be here. Obviously, uh, we're looking to get uh, another win, continue our great form from last week. Uh, great performance from the boys. 3-0 comfortable win, as I predicted, must I say. Um, I'm going to predict another comfortable win today. Uh, hopefully, we'll get uh, three or four today as well. Wow. May I say, also continuing the fine form, Matt Carter, great commentary last week. I enjoyed it. More of the same, cutting-edge analysis. I'm just going to concentrate on keeping alive because it's freezing, all right? Let's take a look at the team. So in goal today, we have Jamie Jackson. In defence, Tom Williams. Jack and Farai are the two centre-backs. Kane Brogan comes in at right-back for Simon Peddy, who's unavailable today. In the midfield, we've got Ross Gleed and Ricky Evans continuing their very, very effective centre mid partnership. On the left, we've got Albie Keith. Harry honestly ruled out through injury, so Albie moves to the left. Lee Hursett comes in behind the striker for a start. Ryan Adams over on the right-hand side, meaning we've got top goal scorer of 17 goals. Neil Richmond up top. On the bench, Marcus Stamp, Isa AK Tekas Guru, George Valentine, Aaron Couch and Daniel Adji. Ref's a bit of a clash, to be honest. And we're underway here with an O with the kickoff. Come on, hashtag. Let's get another win. Let's stay top of the league. Chance for Wivenho going forward. Not a bad pass at all for the striker here. Number nine, Callum Holyman. He's going to play it inside. Needs to be dealt with. Tom Williams gets a touch on it. Albie Keith comes across. It's still Wivenho here on the ball. Ross Gleed with the tackle. Ball worked back into the box. That's an early chance there for Wivenho. And it's not gone out yet. It's just been shepherded out by Ryan. Jacko's kicks eventually come through Jack Harrison here. Trying to play it into Richo's feet, which he does. Richo takes it down well. Plays it to Albie Keith. What can you do, Albie? Gets it out of his feet now. Can he deliver? Puts it across in a great area. Not a bad Ryan ball. Adams at the back stick, trying to get onto it. It's a corner for Hashtag. Good play from Albie there. Getting down the left. Uh, like I said, early delivery from him. Uh, causing the defenders some problems there. A word from you, sir. Triple H, how are you? Um, I'm all right. Uh, bad ankle. Not going well. Oh, speaking of ankles... Lee Hurst is going around his man. Puts it across to the right foot. Oh, it was a late challenge, I thought, maybe on Lee. But great work from him. Trying to find Albie at the back stick. Good chance, Matt. Yeah, great work from Lee there. Um, breaking into the, the final third. Breaking into the box. Uh, great load-driven cross with the right boot there. Just, uh, just missing out on that opportunity. Lee Hurst it. Trying to find Albie Keith here. Can he get a shot off on that left foot? Still Albie Keith. Going through, hits it! Oh, and it's just wide of the mark, and that was good dribbling. Yeah, nice nice ball from Lee there, uh, breaking the lines. Great positive running from Albie there. Un unlucky not to get that on target. Good pace as well to, to keep, keep the ball away from the uh, defenders. Kane throws it to Ryan Adams. Ryan holding it up, gets it back to Kane. Can he deliver? Strong tackle from Pasty. Richo trying to make some room. Lee Hursey on the ball now. Gets a shot away! Oh, it's a lovely strike on that cultured left foot. Off. Yeah, what a strike that is from Lee. I thought that was going to be very similar to his goal early on in the season in the cup. Um, great, uh, ended up a great save there from the keeper, to be fair. Kane Brogan trying to throw it straight into Richo. He's going to get, get away with it as well. It goes back to Kane. Can Kane deliver? It's not a bad ball. Richo gets it back. Oh, oh lovely play. <laughs> trying to set himself up for the shot there. Great little touch over the defender from Richo. They're unlucky not to get the space to, to take the shot on. Uh, but it's better from Hashtag. We're looking promising here, putting the pressure on. Here's the ball from Tom Williams. Ricky Evans walks it on. So close to finding Neil Richmond there. Sent down the line. Jack Harrison heads it. Williams returns it. Jack looking for Albie Keith. Oh, it's nice from Cook there. Running forward now. It's a good ball down this right side for Wivenhoe. Can they make something happen here? Oh, they've hit one. Oh my word, Jacko was off his line, Matt. Yeah, that was, again, I thought Jacko was slightly off his line there. Ryan Adams winning the header against Holyman. Oh, Lee Hurst it, taking it past his man with ease. Can he deliver? Not a bad ball in a good area. Looking for Albie Keith, who puts the header. Oh, and he's saved. It's an unbelievable save, Ryan. I think, for the keeper. It didn't really fall to Richmond to shoot, so he played it back out to Ryan Adams. Yes. Richard! Yes. And it's Albie Keith it. with the header and his first goal for Hashtag United. That's what we like to see, Matt Carter. What a ball back in that is. Great ball from Lee originally. Um, unlucky to not score from the first chance. Comes back out. Another great delivery into the box. Flicked on. Albie Keith anticipates it. A great header into the back of the net. It's 1-0 Hashtag. Just moments after his earlier header was denied by a good save. Albie Keith rises like a salmon and stings like a bee. 
Captain Scudley playing it across. Wivenhoe do not want the ball back there. Ricky Evans working it forward to Lee Hursett. Ross Gleed comes and gets it. Look at Ross Gleed when he goes. He's like an absolute powerhouse in the middle of the midfield. Shrugging people off left, right and centre. He's got Albie Keith with him. Still Ross Gleed puts the ball in. It's not a bad ball either. Just past Neil Richmond. Ryan Adams got a chance keeps here, it. Ryan. Can we find someone, Ryan? There's the ball. Too much on it for Rich Oda. Head. Uh, showing good pace there again. Good, good ball. Uh, disappointing ball from Ryan there. Oh, ref. Referee. He's thought about it and he's given it. And Triple H is with me. So who's going to take the penalty, Harry? Uh, Richo. You think Richo? We'll see who goes for the ball. Chance to make it 2-0 here. A lot of time passed since the penalty was given. A lot of time for Ross Gleed to think about this. Great chance to get us tuning up here. Ross Gleed! Oh, yes. what a penalty that what is! What a penalty that is! Absolutely hammered home by Ross Duffer Gleed. 2-0. Can't say fairer than that, Matt. That's a penalty. Yeah, I mean, you don't really save them. Uh, sends the keeper the wrong way, smashes it into the bottom corner. Um, you know, it has, again, it hasn't been the greatest quality game so far. I mean, we'll be buzzing to go into the second half with a 2-0 lead if we can continue to keep this lead here. Oh, keeper's giving it straight to Lee Hurst here. I thought he might back himself for a Beckham-esque long ranger, but he's picked out Albie Keith instead. And Gleed's forward. He wants to ball the back stick. That's a cynical foul on Albie there. The ref I think, the ref, word, I think yeah. the ref will have a, maybe have a book in here. Hopefully Albie's not too hurt here. I, I thought he's been good in this first half, obviously, getting his goal. Uh, he's looked promising right out on that left as well. Stevie CB's got some work to do to get the, uh, the first goal scorer back in action. We've got Lee Hursip pretending to be a right footer on this free kick. So we know Tom Williams will deliver it. It's not a bad ball! Jack Harrison, Jack Harrison makes it 3-0. His second goal of the season against Wivenhoe Town. His sixth of the season in total. Not bad for a centre-back. Yeah, not bad for a centre-back at all. Uh, great delivery from Willow there. Jack found himself completely free in the box. Flicked it onto the near post. Keeper could do nothing. That's 3-0 hashtag. And we did it with 10 men on the pitch. Albie Keith was off getting treatment. Justice prevails. He was taken down. After a good chance to put a ball in, we got the free kick, we took it, we scored. Karma. The second half, we'll be looking to continue, see how much we can get our goal difference up here. It's a great opportunity to, yeah. to get some, some guys on the, the score sheet, and that's half-time. And that goal has come right on the stroke of half-time. 3-0 to hashtag going at the break. Matt, got to be happy. Yeah, got to be happy. Again, You know, I've said it throughout this game, the quality has been lacking um, right on, up until the end of the half there. I think we've shown some great quality at, towards the end of the half with the deliveries and, uh, and the finishes. Um, again, I called it at the beginning of the game. I thought it would be a comfortable win. Uh, we'll be looking to con continue in the second half the same way as we have in this first. Nice. Let's see what Dev's got to say to the boys. Half-time here at Wivenhoe. Free, nil, hashtag United. Well done. Good. But I think it's only a strong 15 minutes that's, that's taken it away. Um, to the first goal, we looked a little bit edgy, tentative. Uh, on their heels a little bit, waiting for things to happen. Um, and that gives them confidence. You can't be affected by, you know, teams slowing things down against you. You've got to expect it. You've got to expect it at this stage. But credit to you, you stayed at it and you've scored, well, you've scored goals from terrific deliveries and good runs and great execution. All right. And when we've got into those areas, we've looked really, really dangerous. Our problem has been when the ball breaks down and we wait and we've been a bit too hesitant and we're waiting, now all of a sudden we're stepping onto them. We've looked a real threat when we've got the ball into wide areas, <coughs> particularly when we've gone left-hand side and you've got him one-on-one, -on -one. he looks absolutely petrified of you. We, you. You put yourselves in a fantastic position, all right? So it's just about being sensible, moving the ball quickly. But when we get in possession, and this is where we were getting stuck in the first half hour of the game, if you like. The person on the ball looks up and we, it is a lack of movement. It's been all right, but we're far from our best and I expect the performance to, to I think the, I need the quality of our performance to step up in this next time. Don't let them back in, don't give them a sniff. We have a double substitution at the break here, which is quite rare for Dev, so I'm imagining it's probably been forced by injury. We're going to see Albie Keith and Ryan Adams come off. Albie Keith obviously getting a goal in that first half. And we see Aaron Couch and Isa, aka Ticker's guru, come on. What do you think of those changes, Matt? Yeah, it looked like Albie was obviously struggling after a knock. I didn't see too much happen with Ryan, but clearly there's a reason why he's coming off because usually he's one of the ones that stay on for the, the entire game. Penalty taker as well. 
Isa getting us underway, kicking it over the head of the fullback. So we've got Couchy over on the right, Ross on the left. I imagine we'll have Isa and Ricky in the middle. Look at this man at the back. Oh, cheeky touch from Cook to Nutmeg Williams. That'll be a fine. We didn't get the ball the other yeah, side. Though. I think Tom will be glad that he didn't get it the other side there. Was, that would have been a fine. Doesn't count if he doesn't get it back. No. Okay. Tom Williams putting it forward again. Not getting enough air on it. Five running forward here. Man on a yellow card. Jack Harrison getting stuck in. A lot of Withenhoe bodies forward. Tom Williams helps it on. Seven's got a chance. Can he get a shot off? He can, but he's on the A12. Tom does very well just to get it through. We can't get to the other side of it. Withenhoe with loads of space through the middle here. Where's the midfield? Cook picking out a pass to seven. Chests it in his stride. Jack oh. kicks it against him. Comes through to Jack O, but we're getting a bit lucky here. Oh, Lee Hurst with a touch of a thousand men. He's got Gleedy behind him, but he fancies a little bit of a run, I think, does Lee, and he gets a free kick there. And how many, ref? Massive area to hit there. Tom Williams puts it in. Headed away by the captain, Scuffy. Only as far as Lee Hurst on the edge of the box. We know he likes to get a shot away, but oh, he's going to go right foot. Jack, Jack Harrison! Oh, and it's, it his, and it's his second goal of the game. He's lobbed the keeper. His third goal against Wivenlow this season. And yes, he's a centre-back. Yeah, what a great ball back in from Lee there, by the way. Foot, Right-footed, just put it back into the danger zone. Uh, Wivenlow, very, very slow to get up there. Jack Harrison found himself onside. Uh, lobbed the keeper nicely there for his uh, second goal of the game. Goes back to Jacko. That'll do, that'll do. Couchy trying to win it. Handball, ref, no. Cook, he's going to hit one here. He's Not lined bad. it up. Oh, and did Jacko get a hand to that? I think ref. that skimmed the bar. Ref says no, so it's a goal kick. Yeah, I think that skimmed the bar. Not a great effort there from the 10. Only real sort of chance they've had uh, attempt on goal. That's had any sort of trouble for Jacko. Kane Brogan to Couchy. Back to Kane. Delivered. Looking for Ross Gleed, who hits it on the right foot volley. What a goal that would have been. Great attempt from Ross there. Um, very hard one to hit, especially on the weak foot. Uh, but who knows what he's capable of these days. Tekus to take the corner. Ball's in, that's what he fizzed in. Ricky Evans! Oh, it's fallen perfectly on his head and there's a player on the line. I'm not sure if it was going in or not. Can't tell from this angle, but it was well struck. Ball in from Isa. Jack Harrison underneath it again. Couchy trying to turn on it. Tried to hit it from an almost uh, 180 degrees angle there. Kane's come across. Farai. Farai's still with this here. Oh, Farai's doing very well there to win that battle against Donaldson and win the free kick. Fantastic from Farai. Another little chance for the short corner here. Donaldson on the ball, the substitute. Great closing down from Neil Richmond. And now Tekka Guru can get forward. Plays it to Couchy. Tekka's going to continue his run. Couchy does well. Looks to slip in Tekka's here with a good ball. Up against the number two. Two substitutes linking up well. It is Tekka's on the ball. Can he get a shot off? Little ball roll. Unlucky. Richo gets the ball from the throw in. Back to Williams who puts it in very high. It's a great ball. Asking a real question. Kane Brogan with the back stick. Fizzes it across. Richo's oh. nearly there. Was that a shot from Kane? I definitely think it was a shot from Kane there, but it actually worked out to be quite a good cross. Uh, took a horrible bubble before Richo got there. Right, we're going to see Lee Hurstick come off for George Valentine here. Tom Williams to deliver. He's gone down the line here, looking for Richo for the flick on potentially. It's going to come to Isa. Oh, it's a great turn from Isa. Ricky Evans on the ball. Finds Gleedy. Gleedy looking to slip in Isa. Great touch. Maybe a use of the hand. And with and we're going to counter now. For Isa slipping, but still getting there. No advantage, apparently. That's a, that's a moving ball, ref. Kane Brogan with the throw in. Looking for Richo, who wins his flick on. Good header from Ross Gleed. So we come to Richo. He's going to try it first time. Neil Richmond! Oh, it's on the roof of the net, and that might have been goal of the season. What an attempt that is by Richo. Yeah, 100% that would have been goal of the season if that had, had nestled in the back of the net, just, just landing in the roof of the net, unfortunately. Um... What, what an attempt that is from Richo. Tekkers is going to take this free kick. Whipped in. Good area. Ross Gleed. It's going to come to Jack. Oh, it's an acrobatic attempt from Ricky Evans in the end. Which would have been sensational. 
think Jack might be a bit upset that Rick didn't leave it for him there for his hat trick uh, attempt. Uh, but yeah, acrobatic attempt from Ricky Evans there. Jack Harrison doing well to get it. And I think he can smell a hat trick, but he's played it to Rich Show. He's gone to ice, so he's hit it first time, and I don't mind that. Off target, but decent football. Yeah, good play, good playing around the area, just teeing up Tekkers for the first time shot. Just, uh, just unfortunately slightly wide from the target. Tom Williams clears, Couchy, great touch. Still Aaron Couch on the ball here, trying to slot in Isa. And there's the final whistle, and it is a very convincing 4-0 victory for Hashtag United here away at Wivenhoe Town. We stay top of the league. Matt Carter, got to be happy with that. Yeah, again, you know, I predicted from the start of the game, I thought it would be another comfortable one for us. Uh, we proved that today. Uh, you know, it definitely wasn't our best performance of the of the year, uh, but we'll 100% take that. Moving into a, a really big game next week as well against Mayan Baker. Yeah, make sure you come to that one at home, Mayan Baker, on Saturday. Uh, who's your man in the match, Matt? Um, so there's a few, uh, you know, there's a few decent performances. I'd say no one really outstanding performance today. Uh, I thought Gleedy was good. I thought Rick was really solid in the midfield, but I think because of his two goals today, I'm going to have to give it to Jack Harrison. Yeah, Captain Jack, a worthy recipient. And uh, yes, very much uh, enjoyed that performance here and commentating with you, Matt. Thanks for joining me. We'll see what Devs has to say to the boys, but a very, very solid 4-0 win. We are top of the league. Let's keep it going. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Well done. Um, not particularly pretty. Difficult conditions again with the wind, heavy pitch. You've done a professional job. Oh, you ask. Four goals, clean sheet. That's that. You know, that, that we've we've been solid. We've been good enough, and and I'll take that. We're going to have to be better. We know that, and I'm sure we will be better. Today was as big as last week, but now it's gone. Next week will be bigger, <coughs> and every single game because. It's no point worrying about what's gone now. And no point worrying beyond the next game. Well done, boys. Really, really well good well professional effort. Well done. Jack, a fantastic win. A clean sheet. How was that for you? Not bad. Not bad. Um, I thought we managed the game well. A slow start. We looked, we looked a little bit apprehensive. Uh, it, was, it was quite tight. It gave them a little bit more confidence that we were slow off the blocks. But... To be honest, as soon as the first goal went in, we were we were comfortable, and then second half we managed the game exactly the same as last week. We uh, we done a professional job second half. Yeah, it was a really good performance, and Jack Harrison, you were on a hat trick today. No. I, I w and again, I would have got one, but Rick nicked it with a bicycle kick. Great finish the second, yeah. by the way. Um, thanks, finish. thanks. Saw him off his line, didn't I? I loved him. Um, yeah. No, I was going to say I'm catching H in the uh, goal scoring charts from centre back, so he's uh, he's getting nervous. Did you mean to love him? I just meant to get something on the ball, no. to be honest with you. Sits him halfway up his shin. Matt, it's <laughs> toe, all toe. Uh, no, you just got to get something on it. I'm, someone t like shouted on side and I just had a lunge. I've got long legs, luckily. So, uh, yeah, you just scored that. Oh, Probably. All day long. Yeah, exactly. I ain't bad up top. But yeah, so there, there he is. For those who can't see, Harry's just behind the camera. He's with, getting with very scared. On. He's getting very Dory scared. Explorer. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, good. On to next week, and uh, fingers crossed, another three points. Nine to go, nine yeah. to go, nine to go. Great stuff, boys. Thanks. Cheers, Johnny. And this is where the video is going to come to an end, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I think I have, but my hands are absolutely freezing cold. But I'm happy because they've left the light on for me to do my outro. So big shout out to Women Hotel Town for that. So this is where Hashtag United are currently sitting in the league. We are still in the first place and that is exactly what we'd like to see. However, the battle is not over. Yes, we're on the last final stretch of things here in the Furlough Nun First Division South. So, we're going up against Mayo Baker this Saturday. We'd love to see you there. We're doing giveaways and your support doesn't go unnoticed, guys. You know, like it really does help to have you people there. We love it. Also, we're playing tech ball before the game. And if you want to get involved with that, you can win yourself the chance to play Robbie Savage on BT Sport. So, come along, see if you can beat us, and see if you can beat Robbie Savage as well. But yeah, we're doing giveaways also. But, as always guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like. Subscribe if you are new, and click that notification bell. And yes, don't have a go forgetting to hashtag it.